I'm not gonna old yell or you. What the? No. No. <laughs> dude, that, dude, that's so sad. <laughs> Alright, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be watching The Last of Us, episode 3. Now, in the last episode, we lost Tess. She got bit, unfortunately. So she was gonna die regardless, but she decided to sacrifice herself so we could, so Joel and Ellie could at least get a little bit of a head start. We learned that the fungus can communicate with, with itself if it's like a mile away and we step on it and we trigger it. Infected from a mile away, we'll know exactly where we're at and they'll know exactly where to go. So yeah, it's a bit of an issue. So Tess stayed behind. She blew herself up to give us a little, to give us a nice head start. <sighs> Shout out to her. I'm actually pretty surprised we already lost her though. Like, we already lost Tess. Like that, that's crazy. It's, that was episode two. But she told Joel, we have to take Ellie to Bill and Frank. So I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that'll be available on Patreon. As a, let's get started. Look, I've been thinking about- I don't want your sorry. I wasn't gonna say I'm sorry. I was gonna say that I've been thinking about what happened. Nobody made you go along with this plan. You needed a truck battery or whatever, and you made a choice. So don't blame me for something that isn't my fault. I mean, she's not really wrong. It just sucks that we lost Tess. You know what I just realized? We've gotten so sidetracked of finding Tommy. I guess we don't have the car or truck, so we can't really. Someone shot at me and missed. See, that's cool. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I'd go down that personally. I feel like there's gonna be an effect down here. Uh, maybe not. It's not that big. Oh! Ah. Ah, he's stuck. Oh, mm. Why is this guy? Just a little, little stab. Ew. Is that the first one she killed? I think it is. Her first kill, wow. Ellie. Mm hmm. See, he's a little worried about her. He cares about her. She's gonna slowly grow on him. Didn't feel like it at the time. Get shoved into a middle seat, pay 12 bucks for a sandwich. Dude, yeah. you got to go up in the sky. Yeah, well, so did they. <sighs> How did it even start? If you have to get bit to be infected, then who bit the first person? <laughs> was it a monkey? I bet Someone it was. Oh my god. No, sweetie, that was AIDS. <laughs> no, wait, no. No, someone fucked a monkey for AIDS. Best guess. Cordyceps mutated. Mm -hmm. Some of it got into the food supply. Probably yep. a basic ingredient like flour or sugar. There were certain brands of food that were sold everywhere, all across the country, across the world. Bread, Damn. cereal. You eat enough of it, it'll get you infected. Tainted food all hits the store shelves around the same time Thursday. Then they started biting. Friday night, September 26, 2003. Oh, he remembers that day very... By Monday, everything was gone. It makes more sense than monkeys. Yeah. Yeah, tainted food would spread very, very quickly. That's actually a really practical way. Pretty realistic. Serious, Ellie. Can it hurt me? No. No, it's probably just really graphic. Whatever it was, I think it's gone. About a week after outbreak day, soldiers went through the countryside, evacuated the small towns, told you you were going to a QZ, and you were, if mm -hmm. there was room. Damn. If there wasn't. They could bring you out here. Ah, oh, that's so, that's so sad. These people weren't sick? Nope. No, probably not. I kill them. Dead people can't be infected. Mm hmm. No risk in that. There's no risk. Oh, that little kid. Oh, that's a baby. Oh my god. 
Oh no, we're about to see it. No. September 30th, 2003. Damn. Oh, this guy's. Oh, he's watching from his house and the security cameras. And the soldiers just enter his house. Not today, you new world order jackboot fucks. Wait, that's. Wait. That's Ron Swanson. <laughs> Let's go. I love him. Oh my god, he is. Dude. See, he, yeah, he's the type of person to just be preparing for this. Just in case, you know? He is decked out. Oh, that's late. Yeah, he has a basement under his basement. The soldier said we're in the basement now, and then he was under them, you know? Hey. Oh, he's about to take the boat out? Oh, wow, there's about to be no one on the water. Let's stock up on all the gas. Oh, he's taking his boat to, so he can carry more. Smart. Stock up stock up on all the gas and stuff. Take it, get all the supplies you can. Uh, power just went out everywhere. Ooh. Gotta get the wine too. Oh, is that a generator? <laughs> yep. Dude, that's hella loud though. That's wouldn't that draw a lot of attention? Wouldn't they hear it? Like the infected? They would hear that generator and then wouldn't they? I'm gonna give you a milk oh, he has all this fence around his house. Yeah, see, a man like this could easily survive on their own and off the land and stuff like they. Keep coming. Uh... Oh. Oh, pfft. Damn. It doesn't get old. <laughs> Black roof country. Four years later, 2007. Damn, he really tricked this little tiny town out. Dude, you gotta be pretty smart to set up like everything, like this fence. Oh my god, that fence must have been all pain in the ass to set up. Oh shit. Are you armed? It's clearly a very smart man. We started with ten. But yeah, I'm I'm alone. From where? He's gonna help him out. What a good guy. What a good man. <sighs> Stop there. No, he's gonna make sure. See if he, see if he got bit. Oh, he's good, okay. Yeah, he feels exactly like Ron Swanson, like the same exact character in this universe. <laughs> I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten in two days. <sighs> I'm letting you go, so go. All right, look. First, my name's Frank. Oh, yeah? yeah. Here's the thing. Mm, oh, this is Frank, okay. And every bum you talk to about it is going to show up here looking for a free lunch. And this is not an Arby's. So this is Bill. So Ron Swanson's Bill, I'm guessing. <sighs> See, like, I feel like Ron Swanson here wants to help him, but he knows he ha he can't for his own survival. Like, did he? Yeah, he did. Okay. It's like you want to help people, but at the same time, it's like you have to be selfish for your own survival. Jesus, why'd you come in that aggressively? Damn. He's like, what were you doing? And, you know? Frank here is just, like, curious, you know? Just looking around, but, like... To Ron Swanson's POV, or, like, what are you doing? Check looking at everything, I guess. It's, he still doesn't know if he can, like, really trust him. Like, how do you know if you turn around, you're not just gonna get a knife to the throat? <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Everything tastes good when you're starving. Yeah. <laughs> there is more. No, if I can't. I want to. Believe me, but... Whew. You probably should oh, in this case, you. because you never know when your next meal is going to be in. 
this world now. Like, you should eat as much as possible whenever you possibly can. So I guess I'll be going then. But first, I've been staring at this the whole time. You know how much these are worth? Currently nothing. Yeah. <laughs> it's my favorite. Watch them just be trash. <laughs> That's pretty good. I mean, is that good? I don't know. I don't play piano, so I wish I could though. And then I'll leave. Well, if this is supposed to be Bill and Frank, it obviously it doesn't leave. Oh, watch him just be fire at it. You saw that right there. He cracked the knuckles, wiped his hands. He's about to be, he's about to be so good. Take things fine. Oh. But there's no one at my side. He's cooking right now. <laughs> so, who's the girl? Girl you're singing about. There is no girl. What's your name? It's Bill. Right? Bill. Yes, okay. Go take a shower, Bill. <laughs> but before I do, I want you to know that I'm not a whore. Oh, fuck you! Three years later. Come on! No, they're fighting! ...bunker where 9-11 was an inside job and, and the government are all Nazis. The government are all Nazis! Well, yeah! <laughs> but we are going to have friends and we will invite them to visit. We will never have friends because there are no friends to be had. Well, I've actually mm -hmm. been talking to a nice woman on the radio. Oh, oh is it Tess? Cause you this... what?! Oh, God. Well, this really is... Yeah, it is, Tess. Can you not, please? <laughs> oh, okay. In the same way. Oh, you're a paranoid... Schizophrenic. And Joel, so he... Yeah. Okay, he's already met them. He already knows them. Okay. I thought he was going to meet them for the first time with Ellie, but no. Let's go inside. Tess, I want to show you something. Actually, I have been wanting to wine. see inside. Not inside. Thank you. Yes. Frank! <laughs> Frank! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bill's... Oh my god. Mel's <laughs> the super paranoid one. Slash introvert type. Frank is the very social outgoing one. Strangers into our situation, I wouldn't be happy either. The people he could have found on the radio were actually decent people just trying to get by. Oh. That's what anyone would say. There's stuff we have in the QZ that you don't have here. So what, you were a prepper or something? Survivalist. <laughs> <laughs> Conspiracy theorist. Yeah, I mean, it's not a gift. You come back, we'll trade. All right. Oh, and I have this idea. Mm, she won't. The radio in case anyone's listening. Oh, that's a good idea. Like, what? He's, he's right there. He can probably hear you. Oh, okay. This is where it all developed. Sooner or later, there will be raiders. Yeah. And they'll beat that fence and your tripwires. They'll come at night, quiet and armed. Mm hmm. It's a lot of space to protect. Oh, I don't know about that one. I mean, you, you gotta worry about people more than the infected, you know? The Walking Dead ended up being, you know, it's more about people versus people than it really was against the walkers at a certain point. Three years later, 2013. Oh, okay, we have all these cars. I guess he never took the, the wire Joel offered. How do you stack the cars on top of each other, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I traded Joel and Tess one of your guns for a packet of seeds. Oh my god, no. That's Which gonna... gun? Well, his favorite one probably, huh? Mm. I mean, good idea, you know? You got some, you got a garden going now. Oh, I thought Bill was gonna tweak. <laughs> that would be a very nice feeling to have a, like a nice fresh strawberry. It's probably been so long because they haven't been able to grow them until now. I'm sorry. Getting older faster than you. I like you older. Older means we're still here. Mm hmm I was never afraid before you showed up. Oh, yeah, afraid of loss. Okay, okay. One of them is going to die. <laughs> one of them is going to die. Joel and Ellie are going to show up. Some shit's going to go wrong, and then one of them's going to die. No, I found the strawberry. <laughs> before that Bill made that comment, I was going to say, like, they're showing a lot how well they really work together and everything. Like they're just setting it up for one of the, oh my fucking, there's a lot. Okay, yeah, they're here. The raider, raiders are here. I mean, all these traps could definitely beat 
the infected oh shit but not people not you know because people oh shit Dude, you gotta get in the basement, basement. You know, like the. They'll never find you down there, but like, damn. But you don't wanna leave Bill out, you know? Bill's obviously. <sighs> oh! Bill! Bill! Get inside! No! Bro, why was Bill just standing out in the open with no cover? Like, come on! I gotcha! I gotcha! No, oh, okay, never mind. These traps are working pretty well, actually. I mean, personally, if I was on the other side of the fence and the traps went off, I'm backing up. I'm backing the fuck up. I'm not getting close to them. I'm just going to wait them out if I really need to get, you know, if I really wanted that bad, I'm waiting them out. Call Joel. Mm. You can't be here alone. I'm not alone. No, Bill knows he's going to. No. Call Joel. He'll take care of you. Wait, did he just die? Oh, no, yeah. Oh, he's in a wheelchair now. Oh, wait, no, he's not. Oh, Frank's in a wheelchair. Okay. Oh, uh, three, ten years later, 2023. Wait, did... Yeah, I think he, like, developed some sort of cancer. So Bill's not the one to die. Frank's gonna be the one to die. <clears throat> That's not medication. It's just Perkins. <laughs> It's kind of creepy, not gonna lie. I promise you I'm gonna stay up. Why? Because this is my last day. Oh no. What if we find a doctor? What if what if someone shows up who can help? <laughs> there wasn't anything to cure this before the world. I've made up my mind. No, dude, I'm not put dude, if I'm Bill, I'm not putting you down. Fuck that. I'm not gonna old yell or you. What the no? I would not be able to if that's what he's. If that if that's how he wants to do it. But I've had more good days with you than with anyone else. Just give me one more good day. Oh. Starting now, make me some toast. <laughs> yeah, just do everything for it. Then take me to the boutique, and we'll get married. Oh, bro, you about to have the best day you've had. In the last 20 years, just for just for you to die at the then end of the day. Crush all of these up. Oh, I will drink it. Then you will take me by my hand, oh, bring me to our bed, and I will fall asleep in your arms. No, dude, that dude, that's so sad. <laughs> dude, like, and like his reaction to it is making me hella sad. Cause like, think about it, dude. If you were him, oh my god. Uh, I, can't, I can't. Yeah. Do you love me? Yeah, that's why I don't want to do it. Yes. Then love me the way I want you to. Oh. <sighs> Bro, no, this is really, this is real. Honestly, this is really getting to me because I had to put my cat down couple years ago oh the hole he found them in and dude that fucking crushed me i i will never be able to do it ever again and so it's like this and then this is a similar situation to that uh, what did he make him the same dinner as he made him the first time Dude, when he, dude, I, it's gonna kill me when he starts crushing up those pills. <sighs> and the same wine they had on the first day they met too. I, I would not be able to. There is no possible way I could. Oh no, he's gonna. No, he already crushed it up. <sighs> Dude, I would start bawling my eyes out if I was Phil. As soon as he, oh no, it's done. Wait, maybe, 
maybe Bill switched the glasses, but then that he he would have just killed himself then, or he put some in his. I don't know. So they died together. Why are there already pills in the bottle? Huh? Enough to kill a horse. Ooh. This isn't the tragic suicide at the end of the. I'm satisfied, and you were my purpose. Oh. I do not support this. Oh, I should be furious. Well, you know, it's how I felt about you. But from an objective point of view, it's incredibly romantic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I bet. I mean, it's st this is still really sad, but I don't feel as sad anymore because they're both going to go out. And so, okay. That makes me feel a little bit better. Is that, bad? is that a bad thing? I don't know. Honestly, I agree with Bill. I think he did the right thing because if my partner really wanted me to do that, I would have to go out too. There's no way I could do that and then continue living. Like living with knowing what I did. Like, no, there's no way. There's no way. I'd rather go out with them too. Now Joel and Ellie's gonna show up. Oh, the food, that's on moldy. Hmm. Oh, did he leave him on no? Because he, he assumed Joel and Tess would show up again one day. Why is that door shutting? It's from Bill. Yep. To whomever, but probably Joel. Not Tess? Not Joel and Tess? <laughs> like, I mean, they don't know Tess is dead. <laughs> Like, so they're dead. You you wanna? Oh, this is about to be such a sad letter. If you find this, please do not come into the bedroom. I'm guessing you found this, Joel, because anyone else would have been electrocuted or blown up by one of my traps. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, I never liked you, <laughs> but still, it's like we're friends. Almost. It's the most Ron Swanson thing I've ever heard. And I respect it. I used to hate the world, and I was happy when everyone died. Mm. But I was wrong. Because there was one person worth saving. So That's what I did. <sighs> so sad. That's why men like you and me are here. We have a job to do. Mm hmm. Hmm. What does it say? Keep Tess safe. Oh my god. <sighs> Damn, D'Angelo needs a breather. Feels shit. He feels like shit now. At least we got a truck now. So we can go get Tommy. Show me your arm. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay, that looks, that looks about the same. I just finished making the truck battery. It's charging right now. Oh, okay. Okay. I have a brother out in Wyoming. Mm -hmm. He's in some kind of trouble, and I'm heading out there to find him. And my guess is he knows where some of them are out there. Maybe they can get you to wherever this lab is. All right. Listen about Tess. If I'm taking you with me, there's some rules you got to follow. Rule one, you don't bring up Tess ever. Matter of fact, we can just keep our histories to ourselves. Damn, mm -hmm. so close. Tell anyone about your condition. Yeah, they probably shouldn't. You see that bite mark? They won't think it through. They'll just shoot you. Mm-hmm. Repeat it. Don't talk about Ted. Don't tell anyone about my condition and what I say. I'll do what you say. Holy shit. This guy was a genius. <laughs> this playlist would run over the radio. Mm-hmm. 80s. Yeah. So this is who, yeah, so he was communicating with Bill. There's a wall of them. Yeah, but what, what, what are you going to do when you run out of ammo? Just toss it? Like, how much ammo do we have for those? You know, like, if you only got, like, a couple clips, I guess, there's no point. Like, with the gun Joel had earlier, you know? Unless their ammo for these guns are super common, you can find it easily. I don't know. I'm taking a shower. And then you're showering. Mm -hmm. Seriously. Yeah, they don't even have deodorant, dog. I can't imagine how bad they smell. She's gonna take that. Well, don't you look pretty? 
Shut up. <laughs> nice. Oh, okay, doing it right there. Oh. It's your first time in a car? It's like a spaceship. Get us there. I think. Seatbelt. She doesn't know what that is. Whoa, that was episode three. Damn, this episode is sad as fuck. <laughs> I think this is the best episode so far, to be honest. This episode was very emotional. Oh my god. It take okay, I cried I cried a bit, I'm not gonna lie. I did cry when Frank was like, I need you to put it, it crush the pills up and put them in my wine and everything. And then I was like, you know, they spent the last day together. I was like, ah. it definitely triggered some tears for sure. Which I'm pretty surprised about because to get me to cry, I have to be really emotionally attached to the characters, you know? Like I personally, I have to spend a while with the characters for me to, for me to cry. But like, they did it really well with this episode. Everything about this episode was so good. Like the writing, the dialogue, the execution, the acting, like you could see just, you could feel the emotions on the actor's face. Oh my God. Like with Bill, you knew exactly what he was feeling when Frank told him, I need you to crush him up and put him in my wine and everything. You could, you could just see it on his face exactly what he was feeling. It's like, you know what I really like about this episode is it really shows even with every, the world going to shit and everything, you could still find peace and happiness like they did together, you know, in their little town they built. They lived a good life together until, you know, they got, until Frank got sick. And you know, there's no medicine or treatment for what he was going through. And then they both went out together, which I think is honestly better. Cause like, yeah, if I was Bill, there is no way I could give my partner those pills, crush them up, give him the wine and everything, and then just keep living my life. Hell no, hell no. I would, yeah, I would much rather go out with them at that point. I mean, and it does suck that they only got one episode and now they're dead. Yeah, this episode was phenomenal. Hit me right in the feels. Even though there wasn't that much action in it, I don't mind. And I, I'm actually really impressed by the dude who played Bill. I don't, uh, let me look up his real name because I only know him as Ron Swanson. Nick Offerman. Okay, Nick Offerman, I've seen him in other stuff too. I've only seen him in like comedy movies. Like why does he do more stuff like this? Like this, he was great in this. I would love to see him in more emotional movies like this. That He was great. And the other actor too who played Frank. Great actors. Fantastic actors. But yeah, that was The Last of Us Episode 3. Comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments. If you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.